everyone. My name. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Harlan, and I am here today to do a craft with you for Michael's Camp Creatology. Um, we're really excited to bring these crafts to you this year. Our team has worked really hard to make some fun activities, and we're really looking forward to sharing them with you. And today we are going to be doing the lion right here. He's super cute. I like him. Okay. So keep in mind, Camp Creatology um, is going for four weeks and each week has three crafts. So this is our second week and we're gonna get started with our project. So first you are going to get a box that looks like this with instructions and inside of it is going to be all the supplies that you need for the week. So I'm gonna give you a really close up view of this now. And as you can see, it has all kinds of fun supplies in there, everything that you need to make all the projects in the booklet. And like I said, today we're working on the lion. So um, if you have the box, make sure that you have your instructions open to the correct page. And if you are participating and not using our box, there are a list of supplies online that you can get to show you everything that you need, as well as templates, et cetera, to make the crafts that we're making today. So first of all, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna put this right up here for reference. Um, first, I'm gonna get all the supplies together. We have a foam sheet. We have a chenille stem, a pen, glue stick. We have our wiggly eyes and we have our paper our pattern paper and some really fun patterns. And we have tissue paper as well. And we have a template. This is important, a little template here. So you can see what we're cutting out. And we have some noses. And we also need a pencil. Now keep in mind a pencil is not included in your kit, so make sure you have that. So I grabbed us a pencil here. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to punch out our template and it says tracing here. So you know that this is your little template and we're going to trace it onto our foam sheet. So again, if you're not, if you didn't purchase our box, that's completely fine, you can, print this off from online with all of our assets up there for the project. And if you don't have a foam sheet, that's okay too. You can do the same project with craft paper or construction paper or basically any type of paper that you have on hand. Um, you can even do it with felt if you have felt. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to trace our little lion face. You don't have to Press down really hard and keep in mind, um, I would not use a marker on this if you're doing the felt or the foam because markers will actually um, rub off on the foam and make it look pretty bad. So after we trace it, we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. You do have scissors in your kit to use, but you can also use whatever you got at home. So we're just gonna cut this out really carefully. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. Keep moving. Cut out his little ears. Just like this. I was actually thinking this morning that if you really wanted to get creative and you don't have the box, you didn't necessarily have to make a lion. I was thinking like what other animals could we make with the same concept? And the only one that I was able to come up with are those funny little lizards who have the little mane that like shoots out when they're angry, when they're trying to scare away predators. I thought that would be a fun one, but you need to use green or whatever color you want. You can have a colorful um, lizard as well. So. Next step, we've cut this out. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our markers that come in the kit, our markers that you have at home, and we're going to draw in his nose and his mouth and his little ears. So first I'm gonna start with the ears. 
These markers are really good and they don't bleed on the foam. So be careful. It is possible whatever whatever you're using at home, it might smear a little bit. And then we're drawing his nose. And then we draw his mouth. And we put his little whisker things on there. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to put on his nose. In your kit, um, this piece comes, it's a little piece of adhesive foam and it has the little noses on here. It's a, you can just peel it off and put that on just like that. So again, if you're at home and you don't have the kit, you can use foam, you can use construction paper, whatever you have. If you just have white paper, you can color it black and do that. So the next thing that we're going to do is put on Mr. Lion's eyes. So these little wiggle eyes are adhesive. So there's a little piece of paper on the back that you can peel off, makes it super easy. So you don't have to worry about glue for this part. And then you can put that on. If you don't have wiggle eyes, you can just use like gems or pom poms or any little thing that you have to give your friend eyes here. All right, so there we have our eyes. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make his whiskers and these are made out of chenille stems. So you can take your scissors and you can cut them. And you can go like, into, we need six pieces because he has six whiskers. So we have our first one. You just cut that like that. Hold it very carefully because there is wire in the middle. If you need help with this, you can ask an adult that's there with you or maybe a big sister or big brother, whoever you got. Maybe you're crafting with your brothers or sisters, or maybe your mom's doing it with you, or grandma, or dad. And you can just cut these, and there, we have six pieces. What we're gonna do next is we are going to glue those on. We do have a little glue that comes in your kit. And let me just make sure this one's open. So if your glue doesn't work, there is a little cap in here. So if you just go in here and you pull it out, it pops right out. And that keeps your glue from spilling. You can use whatever craft glue you have at home if you need to. And then we're gonna go in and we're going to glue these on however you want. So keep in mind that the glue is going to take a little bit of time to dry. So it's possible that you might need to just let this sit here for a few minutes while that dries. Add them all in. One, two. Getting messy, which is fine. And if you find that you cut them too long, that's okay. Once it dries, you can go back and you can trim them later once they dry so they don't come off. I'm gonna put another little dab of glue over here for the other side. And one, two, three. All right, yeah, I cut these too long, but that's okay, because like I said, we can trim them later. So I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna set him over here so he can start drying. Next, we have our fun patterned paper. Keep in mind, if you don't have this patterned paper at home, if you don't have the kit, that's okay. You can use different colors of construction paper or any other craft paper that you have. Or if you really wanna get creative, you can ask an adult if there's some magazines or something that they're not using that you can cut up for the colors that you want, kind of like a collage. So you can have fun, get creative. So first what we're gonna do with these pieces of paper, we're going to make a fan out of, a fan out of them. I know we've all made our little fans before. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it and you're gonna bend it back and forth. You see that? This way, go the other way. 
And we need to do nine of these. So it's gonna be three of each color. So if you pinch it like that, then it looks like you have a little fan. Sarah, will you move forward a little bit when you're folding those? Yep. Here we, we go. We can't see that. Okay. So we're gonna keep folding these like our little fans. Like I said, we have to do nine. And if you're making this at home without the kit, get creative. You don't have to have yellow or orange. You can have a blue lion. You can have a pink lion, whatever your favorite color is. You can have a rainbow lion. This just has some really fun patterns in it. So that shows you, you don't even have to use solids. You can get, can get really creative. I have a lot of craft paper at home in different colors and designs. So my girls like to do all kinds of fun collaging with that. We craft a lot here in my house. I have worked for Michaels now for almost 16 years, but I have been crafting since I was 11 years old. So you can craft no matter how young or old you are and enjoy it. I'm lucky because I get to see all the fun craft stuff firsthand at work. We always have new and exciting things in the stores. So you have to make sure you're checking it out all the time so you don't miss anything fun. Like I said, I've been at Michael's for almost 16 years and I work in product development, which means that I work on the team that helps come up with the fun craft ideas for creatology for kids. So my team actually helped develop develop this little kit. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so we have all of our fans now, all nine of them, and they're all folded up. So what we do next is we have lots of tissue paper, little squares of tissue paper here that we have in different colors. And we have some gems as well. We have gems or little sequins, I should say. I'm gonna grab those. And what you can do is you can take the little tissue papers and just kind of like scrunch them up like that. See, this is what they did. They put several of them on here just to add some fun to it and some texture. So you can do whatever combination of the colors that you wanna do. If you are working at home and you don't have any little tissue papers, ask if somebody has like gift wrapping tissue paper that you can cut into little squares. You can also do this with like really thin paper, tissue papers, paper towels. You can cut them up really small. Does So I'm just folding up several of these so I can glue them on to our little fans. Lots of fun little pieces. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need because it's going to depend on how close I glue them. So I'm just going to make a few so we have several on hand. And then we have, of course, our sequins. You can use the gold ones that we have in the kit or anything that you have at home. Again, if you don't have sequins, you could use gems or little buttons that you have if you have any cute little buttons. Um, keep in mind, in the kit, there are some blue sequins. I'm going to suggest that you don't use those because those are for a different craft. 
So make sure that you only use the gold ones if you're in the kit. So I think that's enough for us. Right there, I'm gonna move these out of our way. And now we're going to start gluing. So first what we can do is glue on some of our little tissue papers because our lion is probably still drying over there, our lion face. And all that they did here, you just put a little bit of glue in one of your crevices of your fan, one of the folds. Make sure you don't use too much glue because then it won't dry and it'll make First, I feel like it really brings to life our lion. Put these in there. Just put them on there so they'll dry. We don't have to do all of the fans, I'm just going to do a few of them. I want to make sure that I'm getting something on all the different patterns. go. These are drying as well as the lion. And this is my favorite pattern, so I'm going to use him twice. Now, if you get the glue on your hands or on the table or on your clothes, make sure that you wash it off with your, on your hands, just use a little bit of soap and some warm water. Same thing with the markers. If you get it on your clothes, that's okay. Let an adult know and they can help you get it cleaned up. Okay, now I'm gonna do some of the sequins. The sequins might be a little bit trickier since the fans are folded and obviously the sequins are flat. So if you need to flatten out your fan a little bit to put those on, that's okay. Just make sure you put a good little dab of glue on there so that way it'll stick really well. Here we go. I feel like this is a really fun summer activity. I would rather be on a safari seeing a lion in person since that's not gonna happen, I think making a colorful lion is probably the next best thing for me. All right, let's see. I feel like, get a couple more on here. You don't have to put one on every single fan, or you could put two if you want. You could skip a fan. If you don't like sequins or sparkle, that's okay. Not everybody likes the shiny things. And that's one of the great things about crafting is that there's no such thing as the perfect project. The important thing is, is that you have fun and that you make something that you're proud of. Doesn't matter if your lion looks like mine or not or if you're doing it with somebody else, your lion doesn't have to look like their lion. It's your lion. You get to make it how you want. This is your project and you get to decide. There's no perfect way or wrong way to craft. All right, I have a couple of extra tissues and some sequins. I'm gonna set them right over here. I'm not gonna get rid of them because once I get everything glued on, I might decide that our lion needs more flair. I don't know yet. Okay, so next I'm going to check and make sure that our lion is mostly dry. And he's doing a good job. I'm still gonna wait to trim his whiskers though because I don't wanna mess him up. So now we just need to glue our fans on the back of the lion. So I think the easiest way to do this is just turn it over 
And I'm just gonna kind of like put them around so I can kind of get an idea of how I want my patterns to be. I don't want the same pattern touching, but it's okay. I'm a little picky like that. But if you like the patterns together, then you can do that. That's okay. And then that way I can kind of see where everything needs to be to, to be glued down. So I'm gonna make sure my fan is fanned out on the end, but I'm gonna kind of flatten the bottom of it a bit. So that way I can make sure I get him glued on really well. I'm only gonna put little sections of glue at a time because I don't want it to dry out while I'm putting everything on. Just gonna keep gluing. Here's my sparkly ones. Just be careful. You don't knock your sequins off. And if you've got lots of extra time, you can always like do a little bit of glue and then come back later to do a little bit more to make sure your glue is really good and dry. If you're again, working at home and you have a bigger one, you decide not to use the template and you made your own face and you can make your lion bigger if you want. And then you would need more fans and more tissue. Perfectly fine. You can make it as big or as small as you want. If you don't have chenille stems for your, oh, I'm getting out of order here. If you don't have chenille stems for the whiskers, you can just use some string or anything that you find that can stick out like that. Some little wired ribbon might work. I'm trying to be very careful here because I don't want these to come off. And like we did with the chenille stems, the glue takes a little bit to dry. So you gotta make sure it's stuck down while it's drying. Can't wait to see what our lion looks like. to see if we like all of his flare. Does he need more flare? All right, so I'm just gonna sit here just for a minute and hold all of these down so we can make sure that they stick really well because it's a lot of glue, it's a lot of paper. So if you don't wanna do that, that's fine. You can just leave it, go do something else, read a book, go outside and play if the weather's pretty, wait for him to dry. Now I'm gonna leave him over here just like that. And when he's all dry, we can make sure that our fans fan out really well, but I'm gonna let him dry because we're not gonna be able to turn him over until he does dry. But at the end, this is what he looks like. Mr. Lion, you can glue the fans together if you want to, once it's dry. So if you want it to be completely joined on the edges, but here he is. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna name Leo, Mr. Leo Lion. You can name your lion too, if you want. If you had fun with this craft and you enjoyed doing it, we would love to see some of your finished crafts can always take pictures and have your parents post it online for us. You can do the hashtag, make it with Michaels. We love to see what you guys are making out there. We love to see your creativity. We love to see how you take our ideas and make them even better. Cause you guys really inspire us to make these crafts. We love doing it for y'all. What do you think? Did you guys have fun? There's our lion. Gonna go back over here and show you again. This is our lion. And don't forget, 
Each box has three activities. So there's two other classes that go along with this box called Wild One. There's a zebra and a toucan, also really fun to make. And then there's a bonus craft. And the good thing is, is there's a couple of each craft in here that you can do. If you have brothers or sisters, or if you wanna make them all yourself, or if you make a mistake and you wanna start over, there's plenty of materials to do that as well. There's everything that you need in here to make my Leo the lion. I hope you guys had a good time. And I hope to see you guys on our next class with our next craft. Have a great day.